What's up, everybody? This is Dustin Jones with S3 Power Sports. Right now, we're at the K&M Dealer Show. The big one just got dropped, man. The thing that everybody's been waiting on is the sport side-by-side, -side, the Maverick X3. It's an amazing machine. I mean, as a racer, it's perfect out of the box. Simple, man. K&M killed it. This thing can go out and smash the desert as it sits right now. Want a K&M really bad. And that's my only problem with it. Give me <laughs> the car. We gotta talk to me. Trophy truck driver, man, 2013 Baja 1000 champion. Uh, I'm actually just really blown away at how well it performs, how well it goes through the rough desert. Any thought of everything. I want it now. I want to race it. Power to weight ratio, the braking, the suspension. Yeah, you know, it's really comfortable to drive. We're going back, hands down, best car on the market. The verdict is out, man. It's unanimous that everybody loves this car. It's a cool vehicle, man. And remember, every weekend, it's no lift shift, baby. Go out and rip. Let's just run through this thing real quick. The big thing that they stepped it up this year that the racers have all been waiting for from Can-Am is the trailing arm suspension. We noticed the motor that they went with, man. They went with a three-cylinder intercooled turbo. This thing makes peak power at 7,500. It's an absolute monster. I mean, it's in its own class. There's nothing even compares. I mean, there's nothing else to say. So, Mr. Simon, happy y'all made it out here, man. Everybody came out, man. Looking so fly, too. You see that? Matching shirts, man. After months of planning and a whirlwind summer bike build, the S3 race team is about to unveil the race ready Can Am Maverick X3. The butterflies, it's like Christmas morning. Can't wait for these guys to see the car. Can't wait for the world to see it. Not only is it a once in a lifetime opportunity for the team. <laughs> It ain't just beautiful, it's a freaking monster, dude. That is all. My car gets filled. It's the start of a new chapter for Can-Am and desert racing. That's insane. Everything I hoped for, man. It is awesome. And the significance of the build has everyone chomping at the bit. We're going up, we're going to ease over to Tech. I'm a nervous freaking wreck right now, dude. I'm freaking shaking. My mouth is dry as cotton, man. We've had to keep such a big secret from the people we care the most about. They actually get to see it, we get to talk about it with them and, and share our excitement. The journey for S3 started last December in a secret location in the Nevada desert. Today's objective, the main one, to get your input on the unit. Push it, but stay maybe not 100% of your limit. Whatever is needed to get good feedback. Can-Am's engineering department brought two Maverick X3 prototypes out of hiding to get feedback from the top desert race teams. It's not what I expected, you know, looking at it and then actually going and driving it and riding in it. This yeah. feels like a very well handling, precision built machine. After testing, it became overly apparent. This new machine will completely change the face of desert racing. And now it's up to S3 to put it on the podium. You got chill bumps? Uh -huh. Huh? <laughs> Excited? Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> but first, they have to talk the talk. Big thing that everybody's been waiting on is the, the new sport bike that uh, Matt, that. Which tends to be easier said than done. So, right now, uh, are we say at Vegas Reno or just the new car? Plus, answer all questions about the new machine. Are those stock or those S3? Those are stock arms, man. Put some radius rods, tie rods, made it legal, and yeah. made sure the cooling was good. The big thing that everybody's been waiting on is the dropping of the new KM Maverick. We're going to. Uh, we tried to keep it as factory looking as possible. They're sport, you, uh, sport bike. It's not a bike. I know that's a, that's a lot to, to say, but. So we're in a tech and contingency right now at Vegas Arena. With the Maverick X3 stealing the spotlight at vehicle tech inspection and the shroud of secrecy that followed it from Louisiana, competing UTV teams curiously try to piece together how all this shakes up the points chase. You gonna race the whole race on this? Yeah. 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 Mr. Mao gonna race the other car? We gave up our points, man. I didn't know how y'all was gonna do it. We was third after drop race. We was third in points. Okay. Gave it up, man. In order to race the new vehicle, the team was forced to enter it in the unlimited UTV class. We race pro production turbo class. It has to be a production model available to the public. You know, the race was on Friday and Saturday, and you couldn't go to your dealership and order X3 till the following Monday, so we missed it by a few days. Yeah, put the tires and stuff towards the... Y'all hand it up here, I'll, I'll arrange it. 
So we, we threw any chance and opportunity for us to win a championship away. First of all, thank you guys for uh, sacrificing time and stuff to come out here. I think after today, you guys see what, what kind of pressure's on us and uh, how big of a deal this race is to not just us, man, but Ken Am. I was probably more nervous than any other race. Not only having a brand new vehicle and everybody's eyes are on you. No, 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 it's like on this side. Also, we're starting at the back of the pack. So we had to go through, not only through everybody's dust, but we also had to go through all their ruts and the silt. We don't know what's gonna happen. Naturally, with racing, there's a lot of variables. We could wreck 15 miles in the race, the car could break. Dear Father, thank you for many blessings, dear Lord. Thank you for this day. If nothing else, to fellowship together, dear Lord, to be with our friends. Thank you for the sacrifice they've made. I hope the team does well for the team. I mean, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. And nobody cares about seeing us finish a race. They want us to win this thing. It would be a, a great vindication if the car did well. But please, most importantly, keep us safe. Keep your hand over us. Let your will be done. Help us to drive fast, focus our minds, take care of our pit crews, and help us to enjoy it together. In your name, I pray, amen. We can do this, dude. I know we can. We have to do it. Dustin and Shane start the 600-mile trek to Reno, Nevada. Everything looks good. Watch for cars. Watch the all red. Straight. Straight. But to get there, they have to battle the entire field, including the trophy trucks and open-wheel buggies. Slow it down on this, Dustin. Okay. Don't pass the car. Straight. Joe, straight. Just keep it under control, my friend. We feel very confident in the car. Drive what you can see, okay, nothing else. We got two days. Try to have a good, solid first day. Not go for a win, but try to go for a good, solid first day. That was, that was our goal. Be careful. Put it right up there. There's a wreck or something. Be careful. There's a wreck. Slow down. Okay. Hardly 10 miles into the 600-mile race, Dustin and Shane start to meet damaged vehicles. Go, 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 go. Don't break up, let him go first where you can see. Yeah, look. First 10 or 15 miles of that track was like a junkyard. It was with cars piled up, stuck and sealed. Yeah, there's people stuck in the cars, I know. I'm scared of them. Okay, yeah. Get in the right, there's a cult guy standing up. We had never opened a race with such terrible seal. There's four trophy trucks stuck. Stay right here. Keep on going. That is by far the most carnage I've ever seen at any track in such a short period of time. Dustin and Shane carefully race through the blinding dust. Get that, can you get back over? The, the most dangerous part is having to keep your momentum and worry about getting ran over by the people behind you. Try to keep moving, don't, don't do a stop, because the trophy trucks won't get us. They're all stuck, they gonna get us stuck. And so our mission was to just keep our pace. We're not the only one fighting this. Uh, keep moving in the dust, keep moving in seal beds so you don't get stuck and you don't get ran over by trophy trucks. Straight, all the dust, straight. Dust and shame push through the silt. Okay. It's a silt, blind and silt. Not being able to see, they try to get out of the silt bed and onto solid ground. Get over there, turn right. Try to get to the right. But the silt is too deep. You're gonna run into somebody's feet and stuff. When all of a sudden, they crash into a stuck vehicle. We gotta move. And then another UTV, charging blindly, smashes into Dustin and Shane. We're done. Yep. Uh, my heart sank, man. I knew, I knew that our Vegas Reno was over, and I knew that 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 was the end of the day for us. Yep, it's broke. Yeah, we're destroyed. Dustin and Shane find themselves wedged in the middle of a seven-vehicle silt bed pileup. Guys, we're finished. We think we just got in a wreck and pulled out the car. Let's get out. It just sucks. You sit there and you just think about, there goes all of your hard work and all your sacrifice for the past two months down the drain in less than 18 miles. But what can you do? 29.50 to pit. You got a copy? 10-4, go ahead. Our car is totaled. Let us know where they're going to pull you. We'll need you there. Will do. 
There were a lot of high expectations for us to do well, but at the end of the day, it is racing, and everybody understands what that means. Oh, three are being towed to then where Delmar Dirt Road meets the pavement. What it is, it's pushed all the plastic up into the dash, and we think it broke our fuse panel because of the impact uh, shoved everything backwards. The way we felt we had to put it on the back burner, first and foremost, we had to get them out of the desert. And it was a tough race. Uh, we started in the back. We knew we were going to have to deal with dust, but we've never dealt with dust like that. It was it was black out for probably 15 or 17 uh, of the miles. I don't know. We just have to deal with it, I guess. There's nothing else we can do. We can't change it. Bad luck, bad decisions, I guess you could say. So we're going to go back to the Shreveport and we're going to regroup, rebuild, and uh, come back better and stronger. You always look back on something like this. You worry about, did I make the right decision? At the end of the day, to accomplish your goals and accomplish big things in life, you have to take big chances. We were willing to take those chances for the opportunity for glory. You're not gonna win them all. You're not always gonna have success in racing, but what keeps you going is you do it because you, you only enjoy the wins or you do it because you actually love the racing. And we love the racing no matter what. It's like, I think it was only like 15 bucks or something. It's like a real nice black billet kickstart. Sometimes you gotta start at the bottom. And that's a good place to start because there's only one direction and that's up. With the race over and summer coming to an end, things are back to normal in Shreveport, Louisiana. This is what we do uh, in the evening times for fun when we got some spare time. So we're fixing to have a little pit bike ride, sneak out in the city, just having fun, man. We accomplished what we wanted to by making it to that start line and leaving that start line as a team. But I know at the end it will teach us to be a stronger race team and it will make us a better team and it will teach us to build a safer car. And there's so many positives that you can take from the negative with it taking off like a rocket ship from the start line. It was a win all around with the release of the vehicle, with the hype behind it, it taking contingency. Uh, we, were, we were running for glory and uh, just the cards weren't in our favor this time. With risk comes reward, but with reward comes failure and failure is what keeps people coming back. For S3 Racing, the possibility of reward ended abruptly in the Nevada desert. But this could be the start to a new chapter.